What up, though? What up, though? What up, though? It's your boy Q Morgan in the building. This is blowing a budget. Here we highlight those budget friendly cigars, as well as those premium sticks that appears on everybody's wish list. If it's your first time here, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, automatically enter yourself into the monthly swag bag drawing. Each month, I pick out a couple of sticks, print up a couple of shirts, send those directly to your house. Today we blew on something exclusive. Went to Atlanta for vacation and met a lady named Mary at a cigar lounge called Cigar Villa in Smyrna, Georgia. What up though, Mary? She threw me this, the leaf, because I asked for the leaf by Oscar and she didn't have that. So she pulled this out the box and told me to try it. Well, we're gonna try it. We don't know what this is about. This is the leaf but let's get into it. I want to welcome all my smoker friends to Blowing the Budget. Here we highlight those budget friendly cigars as well as introduce our new smoker friends to this cigar lifestyle. Today we're doing a box press. This is The Leaf by John Garofalo. No relation to Janine. Comes in a 650 box press. This is the Maduro. And right off the back, I'm picking up a nice cedar tone. There's a rich buttery flavor, kind of like a not necessarily buttered popcorn, but there is like a, a nice oily uh, feeling on that return draw. And with that return, you're gonna pick up a little bit of cedar note. So far on the introduction, we have a San Andreas aged wrapper with an Ecuadorian Habano binder and Esteli Jalapa and Omatepe fillers. Don't know what this is going to end up like, but we're going to get through this whole stick with you. Sit tight, sit back. This is blowing the budget. Today we blowing on The Leaf by John Garofalo. Not The Leaf by Oscar. That's what I went in asking for and this is what was given to me. Uh, Mary over at Cigar Villa, what up though? Uh, definitely unsure of what this stick entails, unfortunately. Don't have very much information on it because the website for this particular cigar is set up by GoDaddy. So this is a, I guess a private run, a private manufacturer, uh, John Garofalo, again, no relation to Janine Garofalo, the actress, uh, is not only the owner of this cigar brand, but he's also the lead singer of a band called Almost YouTube. Kind of puts me in the mindset of that Fugazi, find the real one. But nonetheless, this is a decent, mild, to medium cigar. You're gonna get some coffee notes. Of course, I'm pairing it with uh, Sega Fredo. This is the Vivace. Um, I ran into a nice restaurant, uh, Exquisite, and they have their own blend. And of course, you ever run into a restaurant, they have good coffee, you wanna buy that coffee. So I brought some home, and we're pairing that with the Leaf. Between the two, I'm able to pick up a very strong coffee and cream note. Although uh, this Segafredo is a medium roast and I'm smoking a medium body. So those flavors kind of complement each other. I'm getting a, a little chocolate because of the coffee. Uh, 
I'm also picking up a nice, like a mellow cedar on my retro hail. It's not cedar closet, but if you understand the fragrance of cedar, it comes in different strengths. So that cedar closet that's lined with the shells and things of that nature, that's gonna be very strong opposed to the clothes that may have been stored in that cedar closet. Like the band, this particular brand is based out of New Jersey, but the cigars are made at a well-known but top secret factory in Esteli. So here's an instance where one of your homeboys went down to Nicaragua, talked to a few leaf manufacturers or growers and came up with their own blend. Would we add this to the box? I'm not quite sure as we're getting into the first third and I've already lost, oops, I've already lost my ash and I've dropped the stick. A lot is going on here. Now, if you can find the leaf, I definitely would recommend you try this. It's a smooth smoke, not too punchy. There is a hint of pepper. There's a hint of cedar. And of course, pairing it with my Segafredo Vivace, I'm definitely getting the strength of the medium roast in my coffee, as well as the medium body flavor profile in the cigar. So the coffee is definitely enhancing my experience. Now again, as I said, would I be adding this to the box? I'm not 100% sold on the idea just yet, but we got the rest of this stick to get through. And of course, we're gonna tell you all about it. This was a box press. Of course, you guys know that I'm fond of the box press. Came in a 650 and this is the Maduro. Now the Leaf is a cigar brand separate from the Leaf by Oscar. I don't want you to get it confused. I went in asking for the Leaf by Oscar and Mary gave me this. Of course, when I brought it to her attention that this is not what I was asking for, she bought it and gave it to me anyway. So of course, Mary, thank you over at Cigar Villa. I wanna definitely give you a shout out. Um, as I said before, there's not a lot of information on this cigar brand. However, uh, if you go to the website, I uh, believe it's theleafcigars.com, you'll get a little markup or a little bit of information on the brand itself. They uh, have the Leaf Connecticut, they have the Leaf Maduro, there's a Sumatra, and I believe a Cameroon and Habano. So of course there is a lot to choose from with the Leaf, but this is not by Oscar. A lot has happened since my last video. We celebrated the athletes with the Olympics. Rapper the baby fucked up the bag. And then we had Shikari Richardson. Coming out today, it was a great return. Back to the sport. I wanted to be able to come and perform. Um, having a month off, dealing with all I was dealing with. I'm not upset at myself at all. <laughs> this is one race. <laughs> I'm not done. You know what I'm capable of. Count me out if you want to. Talk all the shit you want. Cause I'm here to stay. I'm not done. I'm the sixth fastest boy in this game ever. And can't nobody ever take that from me. Congratulations to the winners. Congratulations to the people that won. But they're not done seeing me yet. Period. Now I don't get into the business of the Thundercats too much. These little young kids out here. It's a different day, it's a different time. I'm not necessarily an OG, but my nephews call me an old head. So, in listening to current events, these Thundercats are out of control. Sometimes it's okay to just STFU. I get it. Shikari Richardson looks like an everyday chick, nails, lace front, she's 
fastest all get out. But of course, there is nobody pulling her coattail and telling her to represent herself accordingly. She started, came on a scene and really set the pace, winning the 100 meter race for the Olympic trials. And of course, she was disqualified from that race because she had a positive THC result. Fast forward a few weeks ago, maybe, she's racing against the Jamaican Olympic team and she comes in last place, dead last. Y'all trying to give her Flojo credit and she's not ready for that yet. Give the girl her roses for her accomplishments, but definitely somebody needs to be pulling her coattails and telling her about appropriate behaviors out in public. Same for the baby. This guy is the hottest thing in rap right now. Of course, there are some other Thundercats making some moves, but the baby is definitely, I guess, I wouldn't say he's the Michael Jackson of the Thundercat era, but he's, he's definitely well known in many different hip hop circles. He had some derogatory comments about the LGBTQ community, which definitely killed his bag. He was removed from several festivals. Of course, sponsorships get pulled. Same thing. These young Thundercats want to be grown, but don't necessarily know how to navigate in public circles. It's time for someone to get a publicist. Okay, y'all, we are getting through the first third. Not really getting very much punch out of this cigar. It's just a smooth smoke. So ladies, if you're interested in a Maduro, this would definitely be a great introduction to get you off of the sweet stuff or away from the cheap stuff. This cigar retails for about $9.50. Budget friendly and of course, definitely a smooth smoke. That's all I can say about it. I'm getting the coffee. I'm getting a little chocolate tone. There is some pepper, but it's not punchy pepper. You can distinguish many different flavors in this cigar, but of course it's not a necessary transition. So with each puff, you may pick up chocolate. With each puff, you may pick up white pepper. It's not getting stronger as we get through it, so this is definitely a consistent, steady flavor profile. Of course, mm, not a great return on the draw, but a return nonetheless. Mm, it's a very delicate ash. As you can see, it just dropped off after I puffed it. And of course, you're looking at the Maduro wrapper. And that Maduro San Andreas wrapper. I'm sorry. That's why we smoke them naked. Now, I would say that that's an even burn. However, there is a little runaway happening right there. But it's, it's, it definitely doesn't deserve a touch up. So we're going to let this air out. Maybe it'll catch up with itself and even out. Of course, usually that's the box press. They don't always burn as evenly as we would anticipate. But that's a consistent burn on this leaf by John Garofalo. Not by Oscar. Got to give it to old boy. John put together a nice blend. Uh, he went down to Nicaragua. It looks like he put some attention and care into his tobacco selection. In regards to this Maduro, it's a nicely constructed cigar. You can't see very many seams 
on the wrapper. However, it's no shoe shine. One of my OG smoker friends told me about Bethune. And of course, we don't get any of that. You look at that burn line, that's consistently black. There is no color change on that wrapper. There's little veining, if you can see. This is, this is a decently constructed cigar. It's a mellow smoke. It's not very punchy, but again, it's not one of those transition cigars that change flavors throughout. And we're approaching half, and of course, we've waken up the cicadas. I'm no professional by any means. However, I do enjoy the opportunity to share with my smoker friends those sticks that I enjoy, as well as those that I don't. As far as this, The Leaf by John Garofalo, not by Oscar, this is a decent smoke. If you're looking to get away from the cheap stuff or the sweet stuff, definitely give this medium body cigar a try if you can run into one. Smooth in flavor. As we get to half, the change has not introduced anything new. We're still smoking on chocolate, coffee, and a little white pepper. I think that's that light pepper tinge that you're getting in the back of your neck on the retrohale. Of course, the cedar that I got in the beginning is really disappeared. It started out not necessarily cedar closet, but there was a cedar note that I could pick up on the retrohale that has turned into a transitional pepper. Not very heavy. All right, y'all, we approaching the last third, getting through half, and it's starting to burn on my lips. There's a hot uh, heat that I'm feeling on my lips with every puff. So of course we're gonna let this kind of cool down, mellow out a little bit. See what this last third smoke like. I wanna give a shout out to my homeboy Ishmael Olivine, proprietor of the Don Olivine Cigar Company. Definitely want to give my what up those to my homeboy Gus Placedes. This is the owner of GFP Cigars. Definitely. Look him up. He's a hunter of the Great Leaf and one of my OG smoker friends that I get a lot of information from. Daryl Sanders. What up though, homie? Another one of my big bros from the D. Ron over at Black Gold Cigars. Thank you for the t-shirt, bro. I'm going to wind up giving your shirt away, and you know why. But we're going to talk about it. Hope you enjoying those sticks. And I can't forget about my big homie, David Padron. This guy is a reviewer of all reviewers. I get a lot of my knowledge of tobacco regions from David. I get a lot of my knowledge of tobacco lifestyle from many of my OG smoker friends. So I want to pass down what I learned to the new people that join this cigar community. Welcome. As we approach the last third, again, this cigar is just consistent from start to finish. There is no strength transition. It's a smooth smoke. But of course, adding this to the box, again, I'm still skeptical because this is the very first time that I'm smoking it. Not a lot of information was available. But of course, if I find it again, I wouldn't be too skeptical on buying another. 
This is a nice stick. If you find yourself in a lounge and you see the leaf by Don Gar or John <laughs> Garofalo. Again, no relation to Janine. Uh, get it. I would recommend this to any person that's trying to expand their flavor profile. If you're trying to get away from the cheap stuff or the sweet stuff, definitely step into the medium body playing field. This wouldn't say this has full flavor potential, but the flavors are there. You're going to taste chocolate. You're going to taste coffee. You may pick up some light cedar and white pepper. But again, this is a consistent smoke from start to finish. Whether you're smoking the sweet stuff, the cheap stuff, the strong stuff, or expensive stuff, I definitely encourage you to expand your flavor profile and dig deep into this cigar lifestyle. There are so many unique people to meet and interesting flavors to enjoy. We're going to close this one out because it's getting hot and I got to cut the grass. So before it get too hot, I'm going to go ahead and mow this lawn, finish this stick out. Hope you've enjoyed this edition of Blowing the Budget. Catch y'all next time. Peace out.